guys. So we are having a crazy fly problem out there. Uh, ever since we got the cows, <clears throat> we weren't quite ready with our pasture management or we weren't really prepared because we had goats before and it wasn't a problem. Um, but now that we have cows and they, we rotationally graze them, but they still have like a sacrifice paddock so that our um, the remaining paddocks can rest so we still have a lot of manure to manage and it all ends up sitting very close to where I milk. Um, we've tried natural sprays, but they have not worked so far. So we even went to getting like a, I think it's called permethrin or something like that, but it was not working either. I've ha I had to reply it every day and you're only supposed to reply it, I think every five to ten days which you know by the third day they are covered and flies or feet are the most covered but their, um, their shoulders and hips and things have bug bites all over them so we're trying something new um, these are fly predators and they are just tiny parasitic wasps I think is what they are and you get a bag of them they are little larvae, and then, I don't know if you can see any, there they are. They are um, hatching right now, and that's fine. They can hatch in the bag, and then you just go and spread them out on concentrated parts of your pasture or areas that need the most fly control. Um, we did get a free sample. I have not noticed a big difference, but it's been really wet here, and... I'm not sure that they made it <clears throat> and also we have a pretty high fly population so we're gonna try these we're gonna see how it goes and hopefully it'll help with our fly problems uh, the poor cows are just swatting their tails and stomping their legs and I'm brushing them multiple times a day trying to give them some relief so we'll see how it goes and I know the last videos I had I think I had just gotten rid of the goats um, and we were getting ready to process our pigs that went pretty well um, it was really really hard for me so we have not done pigs again although my husband really wants to we might do them again next year <clears throat> uh, but so now it's June of 2019 and we've had our cows for about nine months I think we've we got them in September so I'm going to introduce you to them right now actually before we do that fly predators. Let's try to get this taken care of. <clears throat> My milk stanchion area is a little embarrassing. So this is our milk stanchion. It used to be the goat hut. I'm sure some of you might remember it. Uh, we have our stanchion in there. It's not the best setup, but it works. We don't have a barn, so, so we just do what we gotta do. Let's see. So I'm not used to this uh, videoing anymore and I keep pushing the button, sorry. <clears throat> so I'm going to sprinkle these around where I have the most problems with flies. We don't have a whole lot of problems with flies around the actual stanchion because I try to keep it fairly free of poo, but they do tend to leave me gifts while I milk or while they're eating their snacks. So we'll spread some around here too. read that you want to do it kind of early in the morning or in the evening so they get a chance to just, I guess, settle in, for lack of a better word. Um, right here is where their hay, hay box used to be, and so we have like a mountain of poo there, and we need to get some kind of bobcat in to get rid of it. We moved our hay over there, and it's starting to get the same way. 
We weren't planning on having to feed hay at this point of the year, but it has been ins insanely wet here in Indiana. And our pasture has not come back the way it should have. And we have a nice big swampy muddy mess. So we'll put some around the water trough. It also says not to put them near standing water or in standing water. So I'm trying to avoid the puddles, so many puddles. This is another problem is that we have our manure pile from cleaning out our shelter right next to our shelter. And it is just, it actually does not stink thankfully, but it's just not very pretty. And I think it does bring a lot of flies to the cows. This is their shelter we built last year for them. It's not fancy, but it does keep them dry. They're so pretty out there. Okay, let's finish this up and then we can meet the cows. So these are our two Jersey cows. They're mid-sized Jersey cows. This one's the mama, and she is four years old. <laughs> Hi. This is our baby, her heifer. She just turned one in March, so she is ready to be bred. What are you doing, honey? <laughs> Hi, girls. We're hoping to get both of them bred on their next heat. She's like so curious right now. You want scratches? Yeah. Hey, honey. And like I said, we've had them for about nine months. We are milking the mama right now. She's pretty much weaning us off, so we're trying to hurry up and get her bred before we're complete. she's completely dry so that we can do the milk testing instead of having to do a blood test for pregnancy. Or we could also be patient, but I've never been very good at being patient. The heifer has a ring in her nose because she has been nursing since, well, we got her when she was almost seven months, I guess, and she nursed until about two months ago. So about a year old and it was really hard to get her to stop we don't have anywhere to separate them from each other hi oh <laughs> you saying hi yeah you can see the flies it's not so bad when they're out here out in the pasture but up here in the <laughs> up in the sacrifice pasture it gets a little crazy um, but the weaning ring, yes, we had her um, nursing on her mama because we were trying to tame them. They came, they're friendly, but they weren't used to being handled. They came from a horse owner um, who spent her time with the horses, not with the cows. She didn't milk them. So the mama had never been milked before. And the only thing that we could do was put the weaning ring in her nose. It was in, we had an orange one in, but she got it out. So we had to put this green one in and tighten it a little bit. She had actually removed the screw of the orange one. So far it's been working, but mama weaned us quick. So we are getting them pregnant. So they're out in pasture five, and you can see down there is the milking stanchion and the sacrifice pasture and the shelter. Next to us is our hay field. It's alfalfa and wild mustard right now. 
Normally we have already cut hay by now, but like I said earlier, it's been so wet that we have not had a chance to, to cut it. And then we have, we have eight paddocks total. And then the hay field. Plus the sacrifice pasture, so I guess that would be nine. Hey, pretty girl. Are you a sweet girl? Yeah. <laughs> hey. <laughs> Isn't she beautiful? I fell in love with her face when I saw her in a Craigslist ad. think that mama has is in heat or really close to it. I've had a hard time tracking her heat this month. So those are the cows. I'm sorry for my absence. I know it's been almost two years since I've last made videos. We've thought about it so many times, but life has just been really busy. So that's all for today. I appreciate you coming with me today on my journey and I hope to see you again next time.